unlike some people, I recognize the importance of an introductory comment to our YouTube clips. And not just any episode of Bog Panda, but it's our annual Halloween spectacular lead in to the even more spectacular Halloween spectacular. Bog Panda. Hi, everybody. This is Kelly at K-E-L-L-Y-T-H-O on Twitter and Instagram, and you're watching Bog Panda. And with me, as always, this is Dr. Mike at Official Pagan on everything. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, leave a comment, check out our merch store, pick up that soda cup t-shirt you've been eyeing, and come back and leave another comment. Watch a couple of the old videos. Yes, indeed. And you're going to want to watch this one again and again because... Uh, it's a return of a classic. <laughs> it's probably something you've not thought about for a while, but good news to all of you who have been waiting for it. Finally, the Garbage Pail Kids game is coming out as an NES cartridge. It's going to be available first quarter of 2023 in limited supply. I think around 4,000, I think was where we were. For the physical NES the, copy, 4,000. Yeah. 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 About 80 bucks uh, and uh, from I am 8 bit.com. Uh, so super excited about, about that. And then also digital eclipse will be providing digital versions, which I'm assuming are the steam versions, maybe the switch versions, whatever. So multi-platforms will be available, but the garbage pail kids are coming again. Uh, while I am uh, a fan, I know that you're a bigger fan of the garbage. Pail I kids. am. I am. So um, for anybody who doesn't know, maybe one of the, the highlights of my life, not just career, is I am a garbage bail kid. Um, there was the Gangsters, Pimps, and Killers card set that came out a few years ago, and there was a pagan card, and I got to be a garbage bail kid. It's me in a hoodie wielding machete. <laughs> so it's pretty amazing. And was that tops or not that? That, uh, no um so that was they it was like a licensed thing and it was released in conjunction with this compilation album cool. so you had to like buy the album and different different cards came with it and you had to try and get the whole set kind of thing excellent good deal yeah the game is is called in honor of our our own resident garbage pail kid <laughs> uh, it's called mad mike and the quest for stale gum so uh it uh it looks magical. It looks like we've got just like you would expect uh, and you would want from a Garbage Pail Kids video game. You're going to have multiple weaponries, including diapers, snot, puke. <laughs> so uh, not too bad. <laughs> it's going to be kind of fun. You can And you can play multiple characters depending on which particular attack uh, is going to be most appropriate at a given time. There's some time travel involved as well. So it sounds just like an amazing, fun game and a franchise that for far too long has not been represented in video game form. That is true. And it, this is a new game, but it, of course, obviously it's it's made for NES, but it is a brand new game. Um, and for $80 does sound a little bit steep, but you are getting a fully packaged game. The cartridge looks amazing. It's like a pastel pink or blue to represent the bubble gum, I'm sure, um, that you get for those cartridges. Um, you also get a booklet that was written by somebody. Their name is probably down there somewhere <laughs> um, as an introduction to it. And also it comes with a, a set of special training guards made for the game. Yeah, and I believe the, and we'll include a link to the promo video for it. Uh, there was, I think, allegedly at some point, during the heyday of Garbage Pail Kids, uh, a desire to put a version of a game out, and it got close, but that was right at the time uh, to what Mike has mentioned many times when our good, uh, friendly U.S. Congress decided to get involved and discuss video games in general, and that created, oddly enough, the uh, the Garbage Pail Kids were caught up in that that uh, groundswell, and uh, it just it never appeared but i believe you'll also get with the deluxe edition some things about that lost video game so it's just some kind of cool history stuff uh cards a really cool packaging to it uh, because it's actually one of the few pardon me game consoles that i don't have 
uh, hooked up to my array right now as a NES. I'm going to have to go with the digital version, but uh, it's kind of tempting to get this anyway, just for the collector value. Well, you do. So another thing too, you do get a digital copy for with the Steam. Okay. Yeah, with with the purchase of the physical copy. That kind of seals it then. I think I'll probably have to go that way. <laughs> yeah. I eighty dollars seemed really steep to me. And then I'm like, you are a garbage pail kid. You love garbage pail kid and stuff. It looks awesome. Sure, I'm never gonna play the physical copy, but it comes with the digital one that I will play. So it's it's I think it's a yes for me. So when you guys have your conventions and stuff like that, um, are, are, do you call yourself palers or <laughs> what are the, <laughs> what's the in lingo for garbage pail people? That is honestly like, it sounds ridiculous, but that's like the second greatest thing I've ever accomplished. In life. <laughs> Pretty solid. <laughs> it's, it's good. Having Elvira talk about my movie was the first. There's an Elvira special on Evil Bomb. So that's that's the first. Nothing will ever top that ever. <laughs> being a garbage pail kid is a close second, though. And then third is being co-host of Bug Panda, right? Ah, obviously, of course. Yes. The lesser host, as we know. The le- yeah, as, as has been <laughs> documented. Yeah. Yes. So. Now, have you ever seen the Garbage Pail Kids movie? I have. I I have awareness of it, but I have I have not sat down. Um, so while not directly related. I you know I never really got over the PTSD of watching the original Pokemon movie uh, in the theater, uh, and after that experience, I I decided I would never go into that vague arena of card related movies ever again. <laughs> <laughs> it's got to be a small slate of films: yeah. Magic the Gathering, <laughs> Garbage Pail <laughs> Kids, uh, Pokemon. Those yeah. Are- those are probably you, the there's got to be Yu-Gi-Oh movie. Is there a Yu-Gi-Oh movie? Oh, I would think so. Yeah, there has. Let to us be. know in the comments if we're yeah. if we're not cool and don't know what the Yu-Gi-Oh movie is. <laughs> but um, yeah, I would. So it's hated. Uh, it's one of those movies that everybody says is like one of the worst movies. It's weird though, and something like there are certain movies like that that I love because there's just no other way that that would be made. Like there was just this weird period of time where they were like, this is a good idea. Let's make this movie. <laughs> like in Showgirls. Like if you watch Showgirls now, you've been to Las Vegas. They shut down the entire strip to shoot scenes of the movie Showgirls. One of the, at the time, one of the most expensive movies ever made. And it's basically a particularly bad late night cable movie. <laughs> and they just... They just dumped tens of millions of dollars on this. And there's a great commentary track that you can get on the Blu-ray and DVD editions called The Greatest Movie Ever. It's a comedian talking about his experience with the movie. And early on in the commentary track, he says something like, he's like, I want, he's like, I'm not lying when I say I think this is the greatest thing ever. So because I want every time something ridiculous happens, I want you to stop and remember that everybody from these executives who who greenlit this to the companies that financed it to these casinos, every casino in the strip willing to shut down for the, so for they can shoot these things. All of these thousands of people all agreed this was the right thing to do <laughs> at that moment. <laughs> yeah, spoiler alert, it wasn't. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and that's the way I feel about the Garbage Pail Kids movie. Like at no point, like as you're watching what I believe is little people in these hideous costumes doing insane things, you were like, there's all these people on set who are like, this is great. This is, this is what we should be doing right now. This is going to be well received and age well. (laughs) Yeah. Although I'm going to, my hunch will be the level of hubris was slightly higher with Showgirls. Oh, yeah. No, no. I use Showgirls because it's such an extreme example. I think, I think you know a little bit of what you're getting into when when you're not. This is (laughs) that is Oscar. (laughs) (laughs) That is Army of the Dead has an Oscar. So, as far as I'm concerned, any movie can win an Oscar. This podcast could win an Oscar. (laughs) 
Fingers crossed. Vote for <laughs> us. <laughs> However it works. Join the Academy. Vote for us. Yeah. Join the Academy. There's a vacant spot. Join the Academy. After you subscribe. <laughs> you know, After subscribe like for... and subscribe, leave a comment. We ask so little. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Excellent. So anything else on this? Thing? I'm excited. I'm really looking forward to seeing this game. Yeah, it looks really cool. The only other thing I would say, um, if there's any any book readers out there, there is a Garbage Pail novel series that just started, uh, written by R.L. Stein. Okay. <laughs> so I have no idea what to think about that, but I'm probably going to read at least one of them. Yeah. Yeah, it, uh, I wouldn't be surprised if George R.R. R. Martin's doing a one too, because he's doing everything except finishing his damn Winds of Whippers. <laughs> I needed to do this garbage pail kid thing. It's great to be though if he writes a Game of Thrones related thing with the garbage pail kids. That'd be excellent. That'll <laughs> win. Makes it, it official. 